In the previous section, we created this most popular section of this website. Let's take a look at how we can create this next section, which is going to be the fourth section of this blog. Here, I'm going to categorize all the posts. We can just categorize the business and travel post in the different columns. So let's take a look at how we can create this design. So I'm going to just open the Explorer tab and inside these components right here, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file section4.js. As you know, we already have section 1, 2 and 3. So let's create a section 4. Create here React functional component like this and then get rid of this import statement. Just are that. Let me save this back to the index.js here i'm going to say import and i'm going to import section 4 like this and then i'm going to import this component inside this home page save this file back to the project and when i scroll down here you can see i have this section 4 so just are that inside this function let me create the section 4 so i'm going to get rid of this div and here i'm going to say section and then specify some classes to it. I'm going to specify some Tailwind classes. So as you know, in the previous section right here, I just specify a few classes here. Container, then I'm going to specify MX Auto, MD and Padding Y. I'm going to specify the same classes to this section. Just out of that, inside this section, I'm going to create two columns. As you can see here, we have the business and this travel column. So we create two columns inside this container. So I'm going to say here, grid. I'm going to create a div with the class grid and I'm going to say LG grid calls two. So after the large devices, I want two columns to this division tag. And if the viewport is less than this LG device, means if the viewport is less than 1024 pixel, I want only one column. Just out of that, inside this div, here I'm going to create first column. So we pass here item and this is going to be the second column so we pass class name to this div which is item in the first column right here i'm going to copy this h1 heading tag this one and then paste that here and instead of most popular this is going to be the business category let me just get rid of this text center just out of that just out of this h1 heading tag i'm going to create a flex class and do this flex I'm going to specify flex column and gap is going to be 6. Inside this first div here, I'm going to add my post. So to create a post, I'm going to create a new function for that. So I'm going to say here function post like this. And inside this post here, I'm going to return JSX. So we first return a div with some Tailwind classes. So I'm going to say here flex gap 5 after that inside this div i'm going to create two columns first for the image and second for the blog information so we first say here image and to this image i'm going to specify flex flex column justify start just out of that inside this div i'm going to copy this image right from here and paste that inside this fourth section just out of that, let me change this with an height. So instead of 600, now I'm going to put 300 width and height is going to be 250. Along with that, I want to add a class name which is going to be rounded. So this class is going to specify border radius to this image. Just out of that, just out of this div, right down here, I'm going to create a div with the class name info. And then I'm going to specify here flex, justify center, flex call, and then inside this div, here I'm going to add my category, title, and author. So to add that, I'm going to back to the section 3. And here you can notice we have this category, the title, and the author. So let me first copy this title and the category, paste that right here, back to the section 3, and copy this author. And I'm going to paste that in the section 4, right down here. And at the top, we need to first import this author. So I'm going to say here, import author from the author file. And just out of that, we also need to add here, link component. And we need to add here, 
image component from Next.js. Just for that, let me save the changes. Scroll up, and here we need to call this post inside this div, just like this. When I save the changes, you can see right down here I have my data. Now let me just change this title, and I'm going to specify here text Excel, and get rid of this MD text for Excel. Save this. Here you can see I'm going to have my first categorized blog post. Just out of that, I can duplicate this two or three more times. Then I'm going to have all my categories. You can see. Just out of that, to create the next category, you can just copy this H1 heading tag. And inside this item, you can paste that H1 heading tag. Instead of business, you can specify your category, which is travel. And I'm going to copy this function and paste that here. Save this file. You can see. My travel categories is also created but now you can see i have this gap between this item so let me just specify this gap to this item to do that you need to create a division tag and wrap these functions inside it so i'm going to grab this say here flex then specify flex column and gap is going to be six let me paste my functions like this save this and now you can see you successfully build the fourth section of the blog. Next, we'll talk about how you can make this footer of this website.